first time the group stayed at, um, we stayed at the Clinton Center, which was in Enniskillen, and it was a really cool location. It was a nice setup. It was my first time being in a hostel, so it was a really cool experience. Um, it was very historic. I know there was a bond for the United States and Ireland being there because, like, Bill Clinton and his, um, his influence with the um, Good Friday Agreement and different things like that going on with the political influences. And the first day there, we met James, who is an alumni from the Ulster Project. Before, I, before we start like this tour okay. of Venice, I just want to like lower your expectations, okay? And he uh, was not only, I don't want to say just like a bent tour for the trip, but you know, we became our friends. Like he hung out with us a lot and ate dinner with us. But it was very impactful meeting him that first day. At, we learned a lot about his background, um, the influence that different things had going on in his life were involved with the troubles going on with the religious differences um, in Ireland. He talked a lot about the troubles, about his growing up, um, and how the Ulster Project really influenced his upbringing. I was so great being someone with such a hearty Irish accent. That was really surprising. But it was really interesting because he's, he knew a lot about Madison and where we're from, where we attend school. And um, so it was just exciting to get to know him. He's very knowledgeable, very friendly. Um, like I said, he didn't really seem like a mentor. He seemed like a friend. We didn't hang out with him a lot. He's very, um, he's able to give a lot of narrative, a lot of background on everything that he talked about. And whenever he took us around different places, like we went out to castles, we even went to just restaurants, we went to the different schools, whether they were segregated, peace walls, whatever you want to name. Just he was very, he was able to give good background on it and tell us the influence it has on the communities and what he thought about it, different events that happened in those areas and how Enniskillen is growing and different plans that he wants to take the Ulster Project. So he always had something really hardy to bring to the table and I appreciated that. Enniskillen really set the tone for the entire tour. Um, you know, that was our first, you know, the first time anybody went shopping, the first time we went on tour, the first time we did our documentary productions, the first time we went out for pubs. That was our first everything. So to say that Enniskillen um, set the, t I don't know, to say it sets a tone, it really doesn't give it enough justice. It was a really impactful time for the trip. It was a great beginning of a lifetime experience.